Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to be exploring suspension bridges. Let's check it out. I made a video previously exploring beam bridges. Beam bridges are the oldest and simplest type of bridge because all they require is that you have one sturdy piece of material to go across your gap. Suspension bridges with their tall towers, curving cables and long spans are excellent examples of modern civil engineering. However, is a suspension bridge any better at combating the forces of tension and compression than a beam bridge is? As a reminder for anyone who watched that previous video and to inform the people who haven't, compression is a squashing force and tension is a stretching force. To find out about these in more detail, I would really suggest checking out that beam bridge video, so I'll put a link in the description for you to check that out. I'm going to be using different materials to make my suspension bridge than I used for my beam bridge in that previous video. So to start this activity, I'm going to make a beam bridge using the same materials that my suspension bridge will be made out of. For this activity, you will require seven straws. If you're using straws which have a bend in them, cut off the bend and discard it and use a long bit of straw that is left. You will also need a paper cup, some string, a paper clip, a pair of scissors, some masking tape, something sharp that you can make holes in your paper cup with and something to use as weights. In this case, I'm going to be using pennies. To start with, I'm going to take my paper clip and bend it round into a C shape. This way I'm going to be able to hang it from my bridges and hang something from it. I'm then going to take my paper cup and with a sharp pencil I'm going to put a hole in either side of my paper cup. And then I'm going to take a piece of string, feed it through these holes and tie it in a loop at the top of the string. Now that's put together it's time to start constructing my bridge. The first thing I'm going to do is take one of my straws and cut off two one inch lengths from this bit of straw. I'm going to get rid of the long bit of straw and just hang on to the two short bits. Then I'm going to take one of the short bits and on either side of it I'm going to put one long straw. I'm going to tape these three bits of straw together at the bottom and then I'm going to tape the two long straws together at the top. Then I'm going to repeat this process with the other short bit of straw and two more long straws. Those bits of straw are going to form the two towers for my bridges and now that they're set up it's time to tape them into place. For testing my bridge I'm going to be using two chairs of the same height but you could do this with two tables or two boxes as long as they are the same height as each other. I'm going to tape one of these towers onto the side of one chair with the top bit of the short straw matching the top bit of the chair and then I'm going to do the exact same with the other tower matching the top bit of the short straw to the top of that chair. This way I know my towers are taped on at the same height as each other. Then I'm going to take one of my two remaining straws and balance this across the gap on top of those two short straws. This is a simple beam bridge. It's not being supported by anything other than those two short bits of straw at either end. Now that my beam bridge is set up, it's time to test how well it can withstand weight. To do this, I'm going to take the paper clip and loop it over the top of the piece of straw and then I'm going to hang the string and paper cup from the bottom part of the paper clip. Into this paper cup, I'm going to be adding pennies and this is to add weight to the bridge representing all of the vehicles and people that will be crossing it. Every time I add a penny to the cup, I'm going to support the new weight by putting my hand underneath the cup and then letting it go. This is because I only want to test how well my bridge will withstand the added weight. I don't want it to be affected by a penny dropping into the cup, just the weight that that is adding to it. You'll notice that as I'm adding more and more coins, my beam bridge is starting to bend in the middle. Eventually, I reach a point where so much weight has been added that the beam bridge bends and completely falls down in the gap coming off of those two short straws at either end. So now we've seen how well that beam bridge can withstand weight, it's time to test the suspension bridge. To make the suspension bridge, I'm going to take my last remaining straw and tie some string around the middle of it. 
I'm going to put that straw again balancing on top of those two short bits of straw and then I'm going to take one side of string up and over the middle of the tower on one side and tape it onto the chair with the string pulled relatively tight and then I'm going to do the same on the other. I say relatively tight because if you pull the bits of string too tight you're going to end up lifting the beam of your bridge up off of those two short bits of straw. So your string will have a wee bit of slack in it but don't worry as long as your string is secured across the middle of those towers and then taped on to the chairs, table, boxes or whatever it is you're using to test your bridge on. Now that my suspension bridge is set up it's time to see if it fares any better with the weight being added to it than the beam bridge did. So again I'm going to loop the paper clip over the beam of the bridge with that paper cup and string hanging down from the bottom of the paper clip. And once again I'm going to add pennies in once at a time, supporting the drop of them with my hand underneath the cup before letting go to see how well the bridge copes with the weight. As I've been adding these I realised I'd looped the paper clip over one of the bits of string so that was pulling slightly unevenly so I moved the paper clip so it was balancing on the bit of straw and not actually on top of any of the bits of string. This wouldn't affect the overall test but I just wanted to make sure it was properly resting on the straw instead of on the string so there's no uneven pulling. You'll notice that the suspension bridge is doing much better at holding the weight than the beam bridge did and eventually I actually ran out of one pence coins to put in it and the bridge was still standing and hadn't bent at all in the middle. So what was actually happening in this demonstration that makes suspension bridges better than beam bridges for supporting the weight? Well with the single beam bridge the top part of that straw was under compression and the bottom part of the straw was under tension. As it continues to deal with these forces with more and more weight being added, it causes the bridge to buckle and eventually collapse as we saw when the tension underneath got too much for the straw to bear. With the suspension bridge, what is happening is these forces of compression and tension are being spread out around the rest of the structure. The string ends up getting put in tension and this supports the weight being pulled down. The string is pressing down on the towers so they are taking that force of compression. This way the beam of the bridge is not having to deal with all the forces on its own unlike with the beam bridge. So suspension bridges are better at taking the weight than beam bridges are however they do have their own issues. One of which is they are quite flexible which means they can be affected by strong winds which could ultimately lead to bridge collapse as happened in 1940 in Tacoma, Washington. So engineers really need to think about the environment that they're constructing a bridge in to decide which type of bridge is going to be best for that environment. Well that's all for this week, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did please hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date on all future content and remember to check out that previous beam bridge video if you haven't already, the link is in the description. As always I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added a link here to the other STEM demos I've done so far, here to my STEM career interviews and here to my robot review videos. This has been STEM with Mr N exploring suspension bridges.